Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I made a video like this, but today we are going to be making candles and they are going to be for my fall collection. Just a few weeks ago while I was on the search for some new fall scents, um, I was kind of browsing around. I didn't know what scents I wanted and where to buy from because I kind of shop around different places. Um, and then just a few days after I started looking, the flaming candle actually reached out to me because they saw a past video that I did for them. Um, I think it was probably close to like six or seven months ago and I reviewed some of their scents and their waxes and whatnot and they are actually one of the last companies that I've purchased from um, but I ended up doing a review for them and I really enjoyed the scents that I got from there. I really didn't dislike any of them. So a few weeks ago, they reached out to me and they wanted to send me some more of their scents for me to go and test out. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. Um, they sent me a variety of different scents, a few for fall, a few for summer, some more classic scents and Christmas scents. Um, however, if you've noticed, I'm in a new space now um, and I recently moved um, quite a few states over. <laughs> And I'm living in Connecticut now for a temporary job for um, design. So I'm in product design, so I'm working here for a few months. Um, but I won't be here for too long, just about four, a little over four months. So unfortunately, I couldn't take all of the stuff that they sent me here. Um, I didn't bring like the Christmas scents and stuff like that just because I will not be making them here physically. So I will review those ones later, but I did want to show you a handful of scents that do um, kind of go with like my fall collection. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into just smelling these scents just right out of the bottle before putting them into any wax or anything. Um, so I have five. First ones first is called flannel. Ooh. Yeah, that's a very like soft, clean linen type of scent. Very fresh. Um, I do like this one quite a lot. So I'm going to be making um, three candles in this today and I will be selling this in my fall collection. It's not like overpowering or anything. So I think this will be nice for some people. Next up is Pumpkin pecan waffles. I love pumpkin, I love pecan and waffles, so. Oh shit, that's good. Last year, last fall, I did pumpkin spice latte and I don't have that with me this year, but I, this scent's way better anyways. You can really smell that like pecan coming through. Very pumpkin-y too. Yeah, this is like a pretty powerful scent. I feel like this one would probably fill up a room. That smells delicious. This is probably one of the best scents I've actually ever smelled. Next up is pumpkin chai. So chai is actually like one of my favorite drinks and it is my favorite fall drink. So I'll probably like this one. Ooh, that's so good. Yeah, it has that like pumpkin, yeah, a very powerful like cinnamon pumpkin flavor comes first and there's like some cloves and nutmeg that smells so good yeah this one's also quite sweet but a little spicy and um definitely will probably fill up a room too this is a little bit stronger of a scent as well i think i like the pumpkin pecan waffle better though bourbon butterscotch Okay, yeah. It literally just smells like a mix of bourbon and butterscotch with like a little bit of vanilla, maybe. Yeah, that smells really good. A really simple flavor. This is not like, it's a little sweet. Kind of musty, kind of. But it's like more chill. Like it's not like pungent in your face. And the last one I just want to say is called the Psalm Fur. And I usually use a scent called Basam and Cedar, which is one of my best sellers. It's a very, very good scent. Oh wow, I can already smell this. Yeah, that's a strong scent. This smells 
almost identical to the basalt and cedar that I use, like very, very similar. Yeah, it has these kind of like underlying like palm, woodsy, um, yeah, very like woodsy types of scents, um, very crisp. A little strong too, I think this would definitely fill up a room. Yeah, this is a great scent as well. All right, so that is all the scents that I have for today. So let's get into actually putting these into candles and then I will come back and let you know how they smell right afterwards when they're in the candle. Um, and then I'm going to give it like three to five days and I'll come back and tell you guys how it is again after they kind of cured for a few days. I know like you're really supposed to wait like one to two weeks um, to really get like their full scent. Like the longer you wait, the better usually. Um, but I'm kind of impatient when it comes to making videos. So I'll probably give it like three to five days and that will still get like a really good sense of what they're gonna smell like. All right, so let's get into it and let's start making some candles. It still excites me to this day to see that little fortune bottle in there. I don't know, I think it just looks so cool. Alright everybody, so it has been four days now. Um, I burned two candles yesterday, which were the, um, the pumpkin chai and then the flannel candle. Um, the pumpkin chai smelled really, really good. I did all of these in my bathroom, which is relatively small so like um and the reason I did that is just so like I know that some people are going to have smaller spaces than others um so and it's you know always easier to kind of smell candles um in smaller spaces to like really get what they're going to smell like so yeah I did these all in my bathroom so yesterday I burned pumpkin chai um for about two hours it smelled really really nice um, and then basically smelled just how it would in the actual candle, which is great. Um, and then the flannel with the campfire, definitely a more subtle scent, but it does have, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's gonna like fill up a room that's like, you know, a little bit bigger, but it did fill up the bathroom a little bit. Um, like I said, pretty, subtle but you can definitely smell a little bit of that like cottony um fresh linen with a mix of that like smoky campfire and then earlier today i did the pumpkin pecan waffles and then the bourbon butterscotch um 
pumpkin pecan waffles once again really filled up my bathroom. It smelled really good. Basically, just like it did in the candle. The bourbon butterscotch, a little bit more subtle, um, but not too bad. It really did a pretty good job in the bathroom as well. I think once again, in a bigger space, it's going to be a little bit more subtle of a scent, but nowhere near as subtle as the flannel one. Um, so I would rate these from like strongest scent to the strongest scent. It's probably going to be your pumpkin pecan, pumpkin chai, um, bourbon, butterscotch, and then flannel. And then my personal favorite is the, the mix of the pumpkin chai and the pumpkin pecan. I have not burned that one yet, but just from how it smells in the candle, I think it's going to smell extremely similar in the room. So yeah, I think that one's going to be my favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, for fall, I have some fresh scents, some sweet scents, some spicy scents. Um, yeah, I got, I got it all, so. I just want to say thank you once again to The Flaming Candle for sending these to me, and I cannot wait to try the rest when I get home. And, um, and I can't wait to continue to work with you guys in the future, and I'm definitely going to keep purchasing scents from you. I've tried multiple different places now and you guys are definitely one of the best, if not my personal favorite. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to comment down below what you thought of it. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye!